All right, just a really quick video here. I was, I just washed off all my blocks that have tack and peel on them. And some of these blocks are really old um, in terms of the age of the tack and peel on them. Okay, so the tack and peel is something that allows you to adhere temporarily your rubber stamps to an acrylic block, okay? But what happens is you start using it over time and it gets very dusty. So you just wash it off and that's in the tack and peel instructions here, okay? But I was thinking, oh my gosh. So I cleaned this one off really good this time. I used some soap on it and just kind of scrubbed it off pretty good. Um, and it got a lot of the ink off of it. Sometimes they get really stained and it's really hard to get off some of it, but mine cleaned off pretty well. But look at absolutely I hope this comes across how sticky this is and how tacky it is. It's almost like brand new tacky. It's almost like super tacky, you know, if there could be such a thing. So I don't wash mine off too often, but hopefully it comes across. Yet I, you can see just how tacky that is right there. But I'm just surprised at just how tacky this is on this particular piece. I mean, it, I've had this on here for years and it, it almost feels like tackier than what it was like brand new. So, you know, this is a heavy acrylic block here, but look at this. If I just put my finger like on a tiny little corner, well, I don't know if I can hold it like that, but let me see. Let me get a, like a finger on it like that much right there. And you can see the weight of this you know, block is just being held by like a thumbnail portion of it and just in terms of the tackiness of it. So, uh, pretty long lasting, um, type of stuff. So, and this is a big, big block here. Um, but it's no problem for your stamps in terms of a temporary bond. So it definitely sticks and it definitely lasts a couple good things we want in this type of um, material here. So uh, this is what this uh, type of stuff looks like by Sukuneko. Used to be uh, carried in stores, uh, stamp stores, and even the general types of crafting stores in the rubber stamp sec you know, section of the store. I don't think that it's in a lot of stores on the shelf anymore, but um, you can always find it online. So anyways, uh, pretty good material for um, our usage with unmounted rubber stamps, okay? You don't need it with cling, okay? You just need it with the bare rubber.